All right, in the previous video, we went over how to do utility reconnections, but we need to do utility disconnections in order to um, get the demolition permit. So the first place you're gonna find this, and I decided to uh, kind of streamline our process a little bit more and put our um, all of the common documents under Old Creek Homes. And I put it under design, because technically we're continuously designing new stuff at Old Creek Home. So um, if you go there and then documents on your left hand side, documents, utilities, disconnect forms, and this is going to be a template. Um, let me just save that real quick. All right, so you will be able to find that over here now. Um, it's, it's a manual process with them. They don't have anything online. So uh, once you download the form, um, you're going to have to fill it all out. And there's a couple things that uh, I've left in the stuff that you can keep consistent across the board on other projects. Um, this is just talking about reconnections. Don't worry about that. Within the property, you want to do that. Do not do it outside the property. We're going to have to wait for permits. Um, if you've been instructed to go ahead and do disconnects, uh, the date it's ready is today. Uh, I will always be the contact, the company name. Uh, again, you're going to go back into the folder of that specific company, which is 23rd Street, and the name of that company. You're going to go to Corporate Documents, and you can find it under any of these, FEIN, whatever. But it's going to be 5617 23rd Street, LLC. That's going to be the company name. Mailing address always stays the same. Uh, the site address information, you're going to have to Google it, but it is 5617 23rd Street, Arlington, Virginia. Fill out all the information with regards to the site. Uh, account number, just leave that blank for now. And you're going to have to actually fill these in. I pre-filled this one, actually. But this is an abandoned house. Uh, leave my phone number here. If we get lucky, it's outside the house, then we don't even have to coordinate. Unfortunately, this one's inside the house. Uh, put the date, or always available, 7 to 5. There's nobody there. Uh, go ahead and sign it. Change the date. And don't submit form. Go ahead and save it. And we're going to go ahead and save it. And we're going to put it into the actual project folder, which is going to be, as you can see, there's nothing in here. So we're going to go ahead and create a folder, utilities, and then there's the disconnect process and reconnect. So this is going to be disconnects, and then go ahead and populate that folder. I'll delete these so that you can learn how to create things. No, oh, that's a trend. excuse me. Uh, not sure why that's doing that. I guess utilities didn't say it. But anyway, put utilities, then disconnects. Uh, and then the final piece of this is to write this to service abandonments. So, SVC. So here is the email address right here. It is SVC, abandonments with an S at WashingtonGas.com, and you're going to put 1517 23rd Street, Arlington, VA. I'm not sure what the zip is. Always put this in here so that we can search for this in the future. And it's 22205. And disconnect request. And then you can write whatever you want. There's another person that you need to put in here. Uh, the lady's name is Melissa Farhar. That would be M F A R R A R at WashingtonGas.com. She is the manager. She always needs to be copied. It's very common for the people processing this paperwork because they don't have a system to uh, lose their paperwork. Uh, also, copy me and say, you know, please confirm. Please see the attached requests. 
In service. Please confirm receipt of this email and CC all. Thank you. And this will start the process. And then obviously, go ahead and put your disconnect form on there. Um, make sure to copy me and Melissa. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our schedule within 23rd Street so we know that the time is ticking. We're going to go to working schedule. And I like to get rid of all these. Oh, that's what we should be doing. All right. And this is one of the first steps in the construction process. So this is, it's not design, it is Washington Gas. And the date is not 5 1, it is July. So 0703. Okay, and Washington Gas, and then remember we're going to right click on it. Sometimes it's a little finicky, and you're going to have to click it twice. Yellow means the process has started. So when we print these schedules, we can quickly identify uh, where we're at. Excuse me, like this is a good example. You can see yellow started. We know that we haven't started these, but we can look at this very quickly. Go ahead and update this. Um, it's going to take at least 30 days to do this. And then we know we are done with the first one. In the next video, we're going to go over Dominion Power and how that works.